In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to upgrade to the official Windows 11 from Windows 10 or the developer version of Windows 11, which is what I'm using right now. Windows 11 is free to upgrade to for all Windows 10 users, and it's very simple to do. I'll be walking you through all the steps, and I'll also be leaving all of the links down below in the description. So with that being said, let's get started. Now the first thing you want to do is just make sure that you have all of the minimum requirements for Windows 11. So I'll link this down below, but you can essentially either pause this video or go on the page and make sure that you have the minimum system requirements on your PC. Now, if you're not sure, you can also use the PC Health Check app, which I have downloaded over here. And once you open it up, you can click on check now and it will check to see if your PC meets the Windows 11 requirements. Now, once you're certain your PC meets the requirements, you can download Windows 11. So all you wanna do is go on the download page and we're going to have three different options on how we can download and install Windows 11. Now we're just going to be using the installation assistant because we've already used this PC and we wanna do it in the fastest way possible. We don't need to use any sort of USB drive or anything. We can just download the installer straight onto this computer. Now, before you click on download now, you just want to quickly read them before you begin. So you wanna once again, make sure you have all the requirements, which includes a Windows 10 license because this is a free upgrade from Windows 10. And if everything is good to go, you just want to click on download now and the installer is going to download. Once the installer has downloaded, you just want to open it up and you want to click on yes for making changes and the installer is going to run. Now, once the installer has opened, you wanna just click accept and install and it's going to both download and install Windows 11. And once everything is installed, you're going to have Windows 11 on your computer and it does look very different. And there's a few immediate changes you can notice such as the change in the UI, as well as this new widgets button. And if you guys want me to make a video covering all of the features of Windows 11, let me know down below in the comments. But that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.